Hey YouTubers, the Working Man's Pride here today. Today I want to do a little short little introduction video to a uh, new addition to my family, the tractor family of course. Um, this is Otis, I named him, spelt O-A-T-E-S. Um, the guy that owned it previously used it as a pulling tractor and it put foolish funds on it because you know you're foolishly putting funds into a tractor that you're going to pull stuff with the brake. This is a, uh, has a hydrostatic transmission on it, a very serviceable one in fact. You have actual what looks like an oil filter on it. Very beefy, big around spindles compared to your normal, um, even garden tractor. And has big tall tires in the front. This thing is powered by a 16 horsepower Briggs and Stratton V-Twin Vanguard. And the wheels that are on it, one way you can tell that it's a garden tractor is they bolt on. I do not know what size uh, mowing deck this thing used to have on it. That has since been torn off and like I said, this was used as a pulling tractor. I just recently had to get it working by the key switch. Somebody had uh, unhooked and magically made some of the wiring components to make this entire system disappear. Um, so I don't know what happened to some of the stuff. Don't really care. I've bypassed all the safety switches on it. The seat switch was already bypassed. The parking brake seat uh, safety switch was not bypassed, and somebody had a zip tie on it. But of course, the zip tie had slipped off a little bit. So I just went ahead and snipped the wires and bypassed it. It's got a brand new battery in it, a couple other parts. Um, when I got the engine, the oil smelt super, super crude. So it had obviously not been changed before, and it was obviously very neglected. Um, and the air filter was not only did it not have a pre cleaner, which is that's fine and all, but it was black. It was it looked like somebody took the uh, paper element and sprayed black spray paint on it. Um, the guy put the fuel filter on the wrong way, obviously. Um, I haven't touched that yet because I can't just turn it around because then it'll just take the dirt and then take it straight to the carburetor. So it'll have to be replaced. Um, and when I was up under here, I noticed like two or three other filters in line all the way to the tank. So somebody just like installed filter after filter and not taking the old ones off. Which is, uh, could cause an issue with it just starving for fuel. It's a good thing I found that out. Uh, PTO does try to work when you cut it on. It just shuts the engine off for some reason. I don't know and I'm not worried about trying to figure out why. Um, because I don't care, I'm not going to be using the PTO. Um, this is where it's take straight 20 weight uh, hydrostatic transmission oil. And you just pull this off. Make sure, I had to clean the vent out. See it's starting to... Actually, wait a second. That's not good. That right there is ice. So this fluid has moisture in it or it's leaking. Some ice in the tank. This is a gas tank obviously. Um, it's a hydrostatic to go forward. You just pivot this pedal forward and to go backwards you just push down to go backwards. Um, when I hooked all the wiring, got it all working again, this iron meter started working again, and it was at about like 689, 687.6, and the 6 at the very end was where the red's at, which is breaking down an hour a piece into increments. So I know when it stopped, whenever that was, that it had at least 687 or 89.6 hours on it. Um, so who knows a total of how many hours were on it. Um, this is the original engine, and I know that because when I looked the tractor up, this was a, uh, this was the engine that came on it, and it's pretty obvious that it goes well with the age of the tractor. Um, you can't get any parts for this thing, absolutely nothing. That's what sucks about this tractor. 
you can't get anything as far as wiring components switches um you can't get anything for the hydrostatic transmission you can't get the oil filter you, you for the hydrostatic transmission you can't get none of it the only thing that i seen that you can get was a couple nuts and bolts i didn't see any aftermarket parts but then again i didn't spend hours searching around i just it didn't give me any results really and it in in, in the results that it did give it didn't say clearly that this replaces such and such part therefore since it doesn't say that it replaces the part that was supposed to be for this one i'm not going to order it just to find out that it doesn't it doesn't work so um like i said the guy used it as a pulling tractor and it does do quite well with pulling i'm surprised so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start it up and take it out and then show you a little walk around um i probably will be making videos on this thing because just because you can't get any parts for it if anybody out there is discouraged by that they can watch these videos and have ideas on what to do and yeah go from there so i'm going to set this camera up and get this thing started up and pull it out i'll see you guys soon all right guys i'm going to pull this old grill out I got running by the key switch the other day. So it should be warm enough just to pull it up enough so y'all can get a view. Obviously, you see Bob still chilling. Alright you guys, so obviously he couldn't weld very well, but uh, that's alright, I'm just going to leave that there. And I just got a transmission, it's a beast. It is a beast. a little uh, idea of how big these tires are here's the size they're 23 by 10.5 by 12 and the NHS on the tire stands for non-highway service meaning like don't use it on the highway it'll eat the tread up so that's how big these tires are and the front tires are approximately right there 16 by 6 and a half 50 by 8 NHS non highway service. I'm going to cut this off just in case y'all can't hour. hear me very well. So, as you can see, that air meter's moved a little bit. So, there's your proof that it does work. You heard it start up and run. Walter. And yeah, it's it, I like it all around. It's some it's a nice tractor, and I'm telling you right now. I mean, look how jacked up this thing is. Just because the tires are so tall on it, this thing is uh, a couple inches. Well, God, it's probably about three or three and a half, maybe even four inches taller than my others. Maybe more than that. I mean, I know that it, it's a lot taller, but that's because the tires. Here's the back of it. Nice view, and here's like a seat view of what you're dealing with here. 
So yeah, I, you can say it's not the best looking tractor in the world, but I'm telling you what, looks are deceiving. This is a, this thing, it's one of those that you look at it and you're like, eh, but then once you get on it and use it, you're like, you know what, I like this tractor. It changes the whole look of it once you drive it and, you know, operate and get a feel for it. So this is uh, my, basically going to be my workhorse as far as towing heavier stuff that my little lawn tractor, Franklin, which you've seen videos on, can't pull. Um, and I also have a Cub Cadet Garden Tractor 1606 with a geared transmission. It uh, has a, I don't know how many horsepower it is, I can't remember, but it's got a, a opposed twin Briggs on it, horizontal shaft and everything, a big 50 inch decker. I think it's a 50 inch deck on it that I'm going to use for even heavier stuff. Um, than this do it you know being geared so it can probably pull more um but anyways let's wrap this video up and yeah thank you guys for watching